check this out. This looks fishy, dude. Oh, Mark, got him. Golly, that thing is heavy. I need to go in. Dude. When I mean sewer diving, we're literally sewer diving. Ciao for gators. Dude, for real. That is so sketchy, dude. It's dark. No! I got him. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. Today's video is sponsored by API. More on them in just a second. I gotta tell you something quick. Hector was here the other day and we built a fence separating these two enclosures. So that babe, our female pig, could be on her own over there. And we have the two males right here. You can't get babe anymore. Oh yeah. I got a new gate because my OCD was driving me nuts that this was blue and it was the only blue one in the entire property. So I was, I was going nuts, I had to get a silver one. I'm gonna use this somewhere else. As well as we also had the vet come and take a look at all of our animals. We dewormed everything, everything got a checkup, and all of our animals are nice and healthy. With that being said, before we start today's video and we get into the action, a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by API. API has been in the industry for nearly 60 years developing and perfecting products for your aquariums and ponds. Now API has everything. Test kits, water conditioners, fish medications, and even nutritional products for your fish. Check out what I got in the mail from API. This thing is sweet. It is a massive banner to put up on the wall. I cannot wait to hang this thing. It's gonna look awesome. Now, I don't know exactly where to hang this. What do you think, like right here? I'm gonna need you to comment. Spot number one, right by the API product. Spot number two, right over the cichlid pond right here. Or spot number three, you just comment where you think it would look good inside the fish building. I don't wanna hang until we all agree on a spot, but that right there is beautiful. Big shout out to API. I love having a nice banner on a product that I believe in. API has helped me in the past. My fish in the front pond where I had to add a bunch of salt or simply videos like the last one where I just got a bunch of new tetras for the axolotl tank. Before I get these fish, I have to put aqua essential in so that there's no chlorine in the water at all. API has everything you can think of for your aquariums and even ponds and the information for everything, the dosage, you name it, is right on the front or vice versa on the back of the products. If you own an aquarium, Aquarium or a pond and you don't have API inside your house, I would recommend going to link in the description, clicking that link and shopping API products. Grab yourself the necessities like a pond master test kit, you know, the reef master test kit. Obviously they've got all nutritional products for your fish. I mean, you name it, API has it for you. Go to the link in the description, click that link, shop API. Thank you so much API for sponsoring today's video. And of course, let's get right back into it. All right, we're here at my canal. This canal is loaded with fish, soft shell turtles, etc. We've done some videos here in the past. Brenton and I did a fish trap here, caught some tilapia. I believe I've even done a fish trap here, caught some tilapia. There's a lot of tilapia, bluegill, invasive species here. Also in this canal, there's a lot of spotted gar, which what I'm hoping to get today. I'm literally on a gar hunt. I swim through this little runoff. This is all rainwater through all the sewage pipes here. It all leads right to this. So the goal is gar. Will I run into anything else? I'm sure. Let's get to it. Oh, there's a gar. A gar just went right up under there. It's actually pretty deep today. This looks fishy, dude. I think I should just throw the net regardless. See that big sand patch right there? That right there is exactly what a tilapia bed looks like. Stir it up, make a little bed, and that's where they protect their babies. I don't see anything on this side, though. We're gonna head to the other side, which is just right across the street. Holy smokes. Ooh. Big tilapia, massive tilapia. Oh, Mark, you got him. Got him. Got First him. cast? Yep. Unless he got out. You saw him and then he got Yeah. Out. He got he out. He was in there. Check yep. for a hole. No, he, he just got under it. Did you see it? Yeah, Did it was get it massive. On camera? Yeah. yeah, it was massive. Big, big tilapia. Wow. He went, actually, the net laid over a hole and he went into the hole and got out. Oh. I cast it a palm tree. Well, I caught nothing. Did they catch a branch? Got oh, one. nice. This guy, he's got some meat on him. This is a fat, fat fish right here. But this is not exactly what we're looking for. Like I said, we're on the hunt for a gar. Gar is our goal. Tilapia, just getting in the way. Huge soft shell. He's about to go up onto the bed. Look at that. So dope. Huge. I want to find a gar. It's a lot of walking. 
doing this. This thing just runs all the way down as you can see. And the fish just move in and out. Same with the turtles. Right under the lily pad. Oh, just short. I almost had him, fellas. This is some nasty water, dude. Cast said it just short, but there is a culvert pipe going straight under right here that I want to check out. Because we already know, in the past, culvert pipes do hold fish and turtles, so. Golly, that thing is heavy. That'll give you a nice back workout right there. Probably should look through it first, make sure there's anything in it. If there's not, what's the point of taking it off, right? Right. Think smarter, not harder? I feel like I should get in there. Why? Because the water runs into the pipes. I need to go in. Do it. When I mean sewer diving, we're literally sewer diving. All right, I'm going in. Here we go. Watch out for gators. Dude, for real. Oh. That is so sketchy, dude. <laughs> I gotta build it up. There could be snakes, there could be gators, there could be anything in there. What is that thing moving? What is that? See it moving? Oh, yeah. Dark. It's very dark. On each side. Wow. <sighs> Nothing. Didn't see anything. On to the next one. We'll keep walking the canal. David is driving and we're searching the canals. If you're wondering why I'm in such a hunt for a gar, I was gonna surprise some friends of mine that have a YouTube channel with this gar, the spotted gar. Now, it's been a challenge to catch, as you can see. We're still on a mission. I think we're gonna catch one. I mean, this is this whole entire canal is usually absolutely loaded with these spotted gar. They're native to Florida. There's another sewer right here. Yeah, there is another sewer right there. All right, David's stopping for a sewer check, and that is how animals get from one pond to the nether. I know that could be a little confusing to people that, uh, well, no, there's sewers everywhere around the world. Animals in Florida specifically travel from pond to pond. The majority of the animals that won't walk on land, like gators and turtles sometimes will be, you know, across the roads, but some things can't get out of the water and they'll travel just through pipes. What is that? There's something small. It is clear. <gasps> Yo, baby, baby turtle, a baby turtle. No look, way. look, look. Ah. I don't want to get in. Dude, this one's deep. Watch out for glass, dude. Watch your hands. Look, I could stand on the edges. Oh god, this is so sketch, David. Oh. I'm getting in. I'm doing it. Oh. Oh. I can't see. I don't know where he went. He went in a hole. There's holes. Move your hand all around on the bottom. All around. Uh -oh. Big piece of the glass, bro. Let me get that. Sketch, I don't know where he went. You for sure saw one though, right? A hundred percent. Nope, that's a rock. Wow, that is so deep, dude. I'm reaching my hand in the hole, dude. Your whole arm's in it. My whole arm. My whole... No! Oh! I got him. Dude, I got two! No there's, way. There's a second one in the hole. I could feel baby turtles in my hand, like a nest. Oh, it's tight though, getting out. Look at that. Oh, holy oh Dude, I saw the one, and the first one led me to the second one. You can't make that up. There's a deep hole, like I gotta hold these freaking tur- So sketchy. Hold these turtles, I gotta show them how deep my, my hand goes in. Baby turtles. First of all, I don't know what, this is nasty water. There could be crocodiles for all I know deep in this. Watch my hand. What made me stick it in here in the first place? I don't know, watch it just disappear. It's so deep. This is what I thought. That's what I thought was a turtle at first. I saw that one turtle. He went in that hole. He ended up leading me to another one. Let me see him. Let me see the baby turtles. Hey, buddies. These are just normal little yellow bellies. All over here in Florida, you'll find these babies. Sometimes even readier sliders. But that is so crazy. These are so, so cool. Now, the real question is, do we take them home? Or do we release them back into where they were? I feel like typically we take them home, but I feel like these guys had a little hole down there. That was a deep hole. And yeah. I feel like one led to the other, which means they probably were left here. They probably hatched and came right down over to here. Yep. I say we release them. Release them. Yeah. We let them go back home. Is that the agreed upon answer? I agree. Yeah. I mean, that is, I feel like that's the only right thing to do. These two were just vibing. Look at them. Look at how tiny they are. Holy moly. Now, that was a change of events. We were, we were here for Gar. 
We, we now got baby turtles. Do we continue the garment? We got to continue the guard mission, but wow, what a freaking experience. You really never know. That was literally right by my house. I'm going to release them. See you later, buds. Shout out to whoever smashed a bunch of glass around here because now I got cut and I was in a sewer. I should probably go get my <laughs> shot with a needle. See you, baby turtles. That was awesome. I continued on the hunt for these gar and I didn't find any. Check this out. If you are a PC member, your name right here is on this wall. So down below, there's the support the farm, which helps with all the farm feed, and then there's also an advanced member that gets exclusive content, live streams, and your name actually on the wall inside the fish building. If you guys want your name on the wall, click the link down below and join. Become an advanced member. One of your perks is literally being on this wall inside the fish building. Shout out to all of our advanced members. You'll probably see your name right here on the wall surrounding our flower horn tank. Another upgrade we made was this flower horn tank and now has a little flip up lid so it looks so much better and we can actually access the tank. I feel like things are happening here very, very fast. I don't want to show too much of this, but I have plans of everything that we're going to do in the building on paper. What's going right here? That's already planned out. What's going right here? That's already planned out. And you just got to make sure you're subscribed down below with your notifications on so you don't miss any of that. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace out.